The YouTube algorithm in 2021 has a fairly simple overarching objective. It wants to keep people on the platform and do it for as long as possible. This allows them to show more ads to viewers and in turn make more revenue through advertising. So anything that helps YouTube to do that gets rewarded and will get pushed by the algorithm. Anything that doesn't help YouTube to do this won't get pushed. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you five key strategies that you can use to work with the YouTube algorithm in 2021 to help you get more views and subscribers. And these are the exact strategies that NVIDIA uses on our channel to grow our subscribers over a thousand plus month on month, even though we only started posting content regularly around two months ago. Seems useful? Let's jump straight into it. When you're starting out as a new channel or a smaller channel, you have lower credibility and authority as a creator. So it's very unlikely that you're gonna show up on the YouTube homepage or on the right hand side of recommendations because YouTube will push channels that have higher authority. So as a new or small channel, your best bet to get discovered is to use YouTube search. YouTube search is a lot more predictable and this allows for your videos to keep showing up every time a particular keyword is searched for so you can continue to get views long after you've created the video. We use the search method to grow our channel here in video. So for example, if you go and search for the cherry bonbon TikTok tutorial, our video is the first video that shows up in search. You can use a free Chrome extension called vidIQ to help you find unsaturated keyword search terms. All you have to do is search in a keyword term in YouTube that you might be looking to make a video for. And down the right hand side, vidIQ will show you the stats for that keyword search term. You want to look for keyword search terms where the search volume is at least medium to high and the competition for that search term is low or very low. And this is gonna help you to find unsaturated and untapped video ideas to create. If you want to learn more about how you can find the best video topics and ideas for your channel, then check out the other video we made where we dive deeper into this. Tip two is to aim for a higher click-through rate. So anything above 5% is pretty good. Click-through rate is basically how many clicks your video gets compared to how many times it's actually seen. Because just showing up on search is not enough. You need people to actually click on your video. A great way to increase your click-through rate is to include your face on your thumbnail and preferably have somebody smiling because these types of thumbnails have shown to have a much higher click-through rate. And also make sure that you have some vibrant colors on your thumbnail and that your text stands out really well. You don't want your text to be hard to read on a mobile. A really great way to test your thumbnails against other thumbnails is to take a screenshot of the YouTube search page or the YouTube homepage, and then you can just go and add that screenshot to Canva, and then just go and put your thumbnail over that and see if it stands out. If your thumbnail looks good against the other thumbnails that are showing up on YouTube, then you've got a higher chance of getting a better click-through rate. Tip three is to make sure you have a great average view duration and average percentage viewed. Your average view duration is how long people are actually viewing your videos compared to how long the video is. So your average percentage views basically translates to what portion of your video are people watching. Average view duration is the number one key metric to every YouTube channel because this goes hand in hand with YouTube's main objective, which is to keep people on the platform. If you go into a YouTube studio and click on analytics and then go to engagement, you will see your average view duration. If you then click on see more, you can scroll down and click the plus button where it says add metric to table. And then you can click on add view duration and add percentage viewed to see a breakdown of each video. So if you can increase your average view duration, you're really going to see your channel grow. A few tactics to increase your average view duration is to keep your intro super short and punchy, get straight to the point and really value your audience's time. Make sure every minute of your video is bringing the narrative forward or providing some value to your audience. Just generally get better at editing, use more visual interactions such as lower thirds and higher quality b-roll and also make sure to add visual diversity to your videos so if you're just talking to the screen like I am now make sure that you're showing something visual and engaging every five to six seconds tip number four is to introduce action cards early on in your videos a great place to add these cards is just before your average percentage views drop-offs so go and have a look in your analytics Go and have a look at where people are dropping off in your videos and you can go and add action cards just before these drop-offs to encourage people to go to one of your other videos. This way, even if they're clicking away from your video, you're still managing to keep them on the platform and keep them on your channel. Tip number five is to not make videos any longer than they need to be and be super cognizant of every second of your viewers' time. Every second that ticks by in your video is an opportunity for somebody to drop off your video. So make sure you're always delivering value to them constantly throughout the video. A great way to do this is to break your video down into chunks 
and that way it makes it easier to deliver the content to your viewers. If you want to learn more about how to script your YouTube videos for maximum views in 2021, check out the video on screen and I'll leave a link in the description. Tip number six is to create a series of videos and then use end screens to get your viewers to move from one video to the next. This is super important because this means that people are never dropping off your channel. They finish one of your videos and they move straight to the next video. So you're still keeping them on the YouTube platform. And we actually do this at the end of every single video on the InVideo channel. If you want to learn how to create a custom end screen for your YouTube videos, check out our video on how to do this. Tip number seven is to go all out on promoting your video in the first 24 hours that it is released. The higher the engagement and the higher the views per hour in the first 24 hours of your video triggers the YouTube algorithm and shows them that your video is doing really well and that makes YouTube push it out to more people. The best way to do this is by engaging on other platforms. So make sure you have a Facebook group, make sure you have an Instagram account, a TikTok account, maybe a Pinterest account, depending on your niche, and then share your YouTube videos across all of these platforms so you can go and have a snowball effect of views on your videos. You can also create an email newsletter, and if you're providing useful content in that newsletter, you can also tell people when you've released a new video, and that way you can boost your views in the first 24 hours. Let me know down in the comments which one of these tips you found the most useful and are going to try out for your channel. Also remember that understanding the YouTube algorithm is just the first step. You need to be executing and creating high quality content on a consistent basis. To learn how you can do that, check out one of these two videos where we show you how you can find the right YouTube video ideas as well as how to script your YouTube videos. This is Elliot with InVideo and I'll Đăng ký dùng thử miễn phí phần mềm tạo video tại trang web invideo.mysai